he was caught in bed with Llewellyn's wife. Rage and anger. He had just killed his dog. There is a smell of deceit in the air. Is this story true? A dog's bedded here. <laughs> find out. We're in the town of Bed Geller and I've got a story to tell you. I'm here to unravel history's greatest mysteries. I'm your host, Barry McLean. <laughs> Translates to Gellert's Grave. Now we are on our way to Gellert's Grave. Yep. So this town's called Gellert's Grave. I thought we were in Gellert's Grave. Why do they just actually call it Gellert's Grave? That was like that. Because we're in, that had because way we're more in Wales, Lloyd, so it is called Gellert's Grave because everyone around here will know it's called Gellert's Grave because it's a different language. We're on our way to the actual grave. The oh, good grave. I see. Oh, the weirdest history program ever. <laughs> Did you know, fun fact, this town was featured in Tomb Raider 2. Really? When they were filming Tomb Raider 2, it was set in China. Was it set in China? I don't know. But um, they wanted to film it in China, but it was going to cost them a million pounds to film in China. So they used the landscape surrounded here because apparently it resembles rural China. Gellert's grave. Oh, there's a sign for it. Yeah. This is well hidden. The grave's not far from here, we'll just keep going and get to the grave. The grave of Kellen the dog. Are you going to tell us the story when we get to the when grave? When we get to the grave, I'll tell you the story, mate. Alright. I'll put on... Uh, Stop doing that accent. I'll do a different accent it's when I'll tell you the story then. Stop it. I'm going to do Scottish. You look, you look like a smackhead. I'm going to be Scottish when I do the story, mate. You, look even, you sound even more like I'll a smackhead. Oh, fuck you, mate. I'll <laughs> fight. Don't jump! If you listen closely, you can hear the ghost of Gellert bark. No one knows what's going on! <laughs> you haven't said anything! We're, you, we're in a little village, you haven't told us what village we're in. You haven't said what the mystery is, what the history is. You've done fuck all! <laughs> Might as well go and talk to them, get better fucking, have a better conversation with them. The story is about to be unveiled to you. Christ. Patience, you're along for the journey. Can you Goodness smell the history? Me. I can smell something. <laughs> Action! You join us at the site of Gellert's grave. Is this Gellert's grave? I'm Barry Monroe. And I'm going to tell you the story. We know who you are. <laughs> who is Gellert and why are we here? So. Go on, Barry. Apologise for the unprofessionalism of my crew. Come on, Bez. <laughs> in the 13th century, Llewellyn, Prince of North Wales, had a palace in Bed Are you going to re are you just reading this? Yeah. That's cheating. That's cheating. Read, <laughs> read the Welsh version. Gar, er, doc, rody, can, Llewellyn, t, scores. Do you want me to read it in my own words? Yeah, just tell us it in your own words. Wait, 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 stay there then. Read it. The tale goes, in the 13th century, Llewellyn the Great, Prince of North Wales, went hunting. Absent was his dog, Gellert. Llewellyn had left his dog and his baby at home it's a bit while he went out hunting. It? The dog looked after the baby. So he was a shit dad. Back in the day, they didn't have childminders. <laughs> they had dogs that looked after babies, Lloydie. What? Get with it. So, <laughs> is this the founding story of social services? <laughs> I, you know what? He went, he went hunting and left his dog and his baby at home. When he returned from the hunt, he found his dog with blood 
smeared all round his mouth. And the baby was missing. Oh, there's people arri arriving. <laughs> Don't drop the charade. Don't drop the charade, you're Barry McClough. I'm Barry McClough. <laughs> where, where was we? It, the blood all over the dog's mouth. Yeah, the, the, the baby was missing. Rage and anger came over Llewellyn the Great and he slayed his dog right where it stood, believing you... that the dog had killed the baby. Just that, don't, hence the blood. Don't whisper. I'm not whispering. <laughs> You're getting really quiet. Yeah, there's people. I'm a bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, oh, sorry. Have a nice day. Um, and then... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave them to it. <laughs> Cause why are you gonna force into it? Dog's in there. The dog's in there? There's a, there's a dog in there, yeah, it's like a statue of the dog. Oh it's not a real dog? No, no. Oh. no. So it so it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's been dead a while. Oh no. There's a dog in there. Is it, is, I can hear it barking. Yeah, that no, was good, isn't it? <laughs> wonder how true it is, eh? It's quite funny, though. Imagine if it was all foggy, you could hear that, and, the, and then look at it. It'd be spooky, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Oh, what, 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 what? What's that? People have been putting their dog tags nailed oh, to the tree. That's pretty cool. But isn't it? What is? No, it's not quite cool because all these dogs will be dead, won't they? Why? Well, you won't just take your dog tag off and go, oh, I'll put it on that tree. I would. I wonder if there's any phone numbers on them. <laughs> all there is. <laughs> what are we, we going to do? Ring them. <laughs> Shall we ring these people? <laughs> on the back it says, please call my mum and then a number. I've got to be on mum, Max. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, and they're Leeds. Oh, yeah. Maxine. My mum and dad live in Selby. Oh. Selby. Oh. See ya. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can I just read it off there? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, carry on now. Where did we get to? Baby's missing. Yeah. Dog's got blood all over it. Llewellyn, angry, ri full of rage. Slays Gillett where he Roy, Roy stands. Roy, Roy Cropper. Um, <laughs> Roy Crapper. Roy Crapper, that's what he should have been called. Don't cry about it, Al. It happened no, years wait, ago. I'm, I'm, wait, hold on, I'm just, I'm just... Are you holding your shit in? You don't need to do that every time you start I, a sentence. Yes, I do. I'm Barry McClawman. <laughs> Shortly after, <laughs> Llewellyn discovered the baby underneath his cot and a wolf dead. He realised Gellert was actually the baby's saviour. Gellert had slain the wolf, protecting the child. Llewellyn, guilt, upset, saddened. He had just killed his dog. Whatever would he do? Llewellyn was said to never smile again for the rest of his life. Basically, Llewellyn killed his dog because he thought the dog had killed the baby, but then he found the baby and then realised that there was a dead wolf in his house. So the wolf had broke into his house to kill the baby. The dog had protected the baby, killing the wolf. So he was dead upset because he'd killed the dog, but actually the dog was the hero. Oh, well, then you ruined the ending. Can we have a dead I have on this? Is it a real tale? Why does he walk like he's on a catwalk? 
I think he walks like, like a, a brick up his ass. I think he walks like an SS officer. <laughs> Oh man, I've just thought of a really good concept for this whole thing. What? We only cover tales that are we know are bullshit. Oh, so we're not upsetting anyone? Yeah, we can say whatever we want then. I suppose, but I suppose you can say whatever you want as long as it's like over a hundred years old. <laughs> oh yeah, the Great War's over a hundred years old. Exactly. Boy. <laughs> Statue of Bellu. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a waste of a good shot. You gonna do it again? No. A statue of Gellert the dog. He's inside Is it me? this stone hut. Oh Jesus, yeah. What's the story behind this stone? That's kinda cool. Oh, is that the wolf or is that the dog? That's the dog. That's massive, what what it? I tell you what, it was a wolfhound. That looks crap. They should have got that bloke of calves wood in town to do a better job. Oh yeah. You could have made a right dog for him. Good boy, Gellert. So what's Good the point. story of this house then? Why, why is it in this house? Fuck no, I don't think this is real. I think it's built this for a laugh. I heard it were in a log cabin. You wonder why they call it doggy style? Never mind. Are you just gonna <laughs> sexually assault that statue? <laughs> that was a bit far. <laughs> the only other place we need to go is the pub. And I'll tell you what why. Is that, is that it? We just head to the pub. What's there's no, no the relevance, pub there's no to, relevance no, no. to the story. The Let's go relevant. to the pub. The because... Pub there is a smell of deceit in the air. Is this story true? We'll find out. Is that the mystery? Yeah. Oh. Basically, it's all bullshit. Well, don't tell them yet. We want them to watch to the end. I mean, it's not bullshit. They've already turned off, but we want them to watch to the end. Yeah, but this I'm story, turned on. This story is true. definitely not bullshit. Definitely not bullshit, this story. Some people say that most paedophiles are drawn to these steps. <laughs> I'll leave it to you to come to a conclusion. Most paedophiles are drawn on these steps. <laughs> there was a guy drawing them. Although our tale was occurred in the 12th century, the monument we have just visited was built in the 18th century by the landlord of this pub. The landlord of this pub built the monument in order to encourage tourism to the town. That might leave you some questions. Well, why is the town called Gellert's Grave then, if the landlord built the monument in order to encourage, encourage tourism? Terrorism? <laughs> he built the grave to encourage terrorism in the town? <laughs> it's quite peaceful. It is thought that the landlord of Oh. It is thought that the landlord fabricated the tale in order to encourage business into his pub. Are you kidding? Is that real? It's all bollocks and was made up like a few years ago. 18th century is not a few years ago, Lordy. Well, near as damn it. But then you might. But <laughs> the name Bed Gellert predates the creating of this monument. So who is Gellert? I don't need to read, I need to read my notes. Google, we just gotta Google that and find out. <laughs> so, who is the real Gellert? It's thought that Gellert is. Stop laughing behind him. <laughs> Why is that funny? Who's the real Gellert? Yeah. Again. So, who was the real Gellert? Gellert was a hermit who lived in the 7th century. He lived in a cave that is now known as the Holy Well. Pilgrims would travel for miles for, for healing from Gellert. It is believed at some time Gellert was a missionary evangelising in Bed Gellert. Later, he was martyred in this very town. Hence the name Bed Gellert or Gellert's Grave. I've been Barry McElmore and this has been History's greatest mysteries.
Okay.